All right guys, so today we are looking at a new mic and this is a mic that is from a company that I've honestly, I've never heard of. So it's kind of kind of cool actually. And it's from a company called Moving Mic. Moving Mic. This is the Moving Mic Moving Box 2.4 gigahertz wireless lavalier microphone. This is it right here. This is their website. The website doesn't have a lot of information in regards to it. It does have a little bit of information 2.4 gigahertz compatible with almost all mobile devices such as mobile phones, cameras, and DSLRs, mirrorless, etc, etc. Anything that has like a mic jack in it. Built-in microphone and can be used with external lavalier microphones. So my guess is it doesn't actually come with one, but can be used with one. Automatic connection and pairing when started and transmission distance up to 20 to 30 meters. Okay, built-in lithium battery can be used for upwards of seven hours. We're gonna take a look at what comes in this moving mic, moving box microphone. This is it right here. And uh, take a listen, see what it sounds like. And that's coming up. So yeah, so this is, the company is Moving Mic, and this is the Moving Box, 2.4 gigahertz digital. You can see from the box, it's a nice box, as well as retail kind of packaging goes. I'd say no complaints at all. Very, very happy with it. You can see the box, Moving Mic, Moving Mic. There's a little bit of specs right here. It's uh, basically the same stuff that I kind of talked about. A little bit more on the actual product, I would say parameters. So transmission frequency, audio frequency, dynamic range, signal, the noise ratio, but really small. I don't know if you guys can even see it. It is uh, a little hard to read. I do believe on their website, if you click on product parameters, it, no, doesn't really show anything. Hopefully you guys can, I'll kind of bring that closer. Maybe, maybe you guys can see that. If you need to, you can pause on that. Anyways, on the back, you can see a little QR code. I think this is just going to take you to their website, but that is, that is, that is it. So let's crack it open. Yep. Trying to let gravity do its thing. Okay, dokie. All right. So put that over there and what do we got? We got a little foam piece, which is nice. Again, we'll put that over there. There it is. Presentation, it's lovely actually. I do like the black and yellow. I think that's actually quite nice. So we're gonna just kind of take these out, pop these kind of over here. But yeah, they look they look good. We're seeing a lot more microphones kind of having this style where they have that mic really built in and you can kind of just clamp it onto your shirt, which I actually like because having that lavalier, even though it's a little smaller, sometimes we need it. This is just so quick just to kind of pop on somebody and, and, and it's good to go. No. No fiddling around, no trying to figure out how to get it to work. All right, pop this off as well. We do get a little tiny manual. My guess is uh, it has product introduction, characteristics, uh, application install, specifications, etc., etc. English on one side, looks like Chinese possibly on the other side. So, small manual. Text-wise, it's, it's okay. It's all right. I'd like it to be a little bigger, but as we get older, we like to see the fonts get bigger on just about anything. Coming down under here, we do get, oh, that's nice. They actually give you a little, little wind muff. That's fantastic, I love that. Not all of them come with this, little wind muff. So that would go on the, so this is the transmitter right here. And you can see there's two kind of little notches. And on the wind muff itself, there's two little notches. So I'm guessing this just kind of, slides on there somehow it's hard when you can't necessarily see it but okay there there they are there they are i'm guessing you just kind of snap that in here somehow i'm hoping there it is look at that oh that's handy right you guys you guys can see that that's really nice nice little wind muff that's all right i didn't i didn't see that coming so that's cool. If you're inside, of course, you don't necessarily need that, but it's soft. That's nice. Okay, well, we'll look at that stuff after. Uh, we also get two 
USB-A to USB-C, and this is gonna be so that we can charge both of these, so that's really cool. And of course we get two of these little headphone style jack connectors, and this is gonna be what we use to connect to our camera or smartphone. Now realize that these are different, and you can always tell which one's different by, and I'll just kind of put these up side by side, the little little tiny rings on them. So you'll see this one here, hopefully you can see it. This one here has two rings on it, this one has three. So this is what's called a TRS cable, and this is what's called a TRRS. So tip ring ring sleeve and tip ring sleeve. Uh, TRS cables are what are gonna go into like your traditional style cameras because it's gonna just feed audio through it. So this is what I'm gonna plug into this fellow right here when we go test it, right there, super nice. And on this one, this is the TRRS. So this is what you and I would plug into a smartphone. And that extra ring a lot of times is because of the microphone. So as far as I know. So this will plug into a smartphone. Now for those of us that have, let's say an iPhone, you'll need one of these. So this is like a lightning to headphone jack. So this, of course, is gonna plug in to the one with the three. Now that's the other thing to be aware of. That means that this cable here is not, doesn't matter which end goes in what. The one with the three rings goes into your smartphone or goes into this, which goes into the smartphone. This, which is a two ring, goes into the actual transmitter. So just kind of be aware of that. That's really important. You know, if you're an Apple user, you need one of these, but even on, let's say an Android device, or a lot of other devices, a lot of those now don't have headphone jacks. So you're gonna need like a USB-C to headphone adapter or something like that to be able to plug this in. So just realize that you will need one of those. Okay, I'm gonna move some of this around. But today, you and I are going to actually plug this into a camera for now. I think that's, so we're gonna be using this cable. Hopefully these have a bit of charge to them. I'm just gonna throw some of this over there, bring these back over here. I do like that little wind muff. I think that's fantastic. This one here, just so you guys can see it, does have the little clip on it. So does this one. This clip too, if you move it up and down, this is what's nice about this, because this is the transmitter. Sorry, this is the receiver. You can tell RX, TX, TX is the transmitter, RX is the receiver, RX is what's gonna go on your camera. So this, kind of nice because if you bring your camera over here, these have that nice ability to slide right into your hot shoe, cold shoe, whatever shoe. It, sh it goes into your shoes, not your wearing shoes. And then this, of course, you would just put right there. That's fantastic. I love that. Okay, so let's, let's do this. This one, of course, there's not much on it, right? So this one here, there is a little jack right there. Hopefully you guys can see that little jack right there, right there. And this is where it says, remember, if you have a lavalier mic, you can plug it into that. So if you have one, boom. If you want something that's a little more discreet, you're good to go. Other than that, your USB-C cable for charging. On the front, you're gonna have a little mic light and uh, like an indicator and your power on. On the receiver, all it really has, same kind of thing. This one though is gonna be the cable that goes to your camera. So for this camera, we're using the TRS cable. So we have both. And what I'm guessing is I'm gonna put the right angle into my headphone jack. And then this going right in there. We're, we're ready to rock and roll, as long as this is charged. Because this one really doesn't have a lot of information. Now it does have some stuff on the back here. So it does have it's called a DB, so this is, my guess would be like a low, a low pass filter, and it looks like a, like a reset button, so something that can recirculate, and it may be because it is, and I haven't gone through the manual, so when you guys get it, you can delve into this a little, little higher, I guess, um, but I'm guessing this will reset it if it's searching for a good signal, maybe you've tried it and the signal wasn't great, so you can hit this and it'll try to re, re go through and find a, a better signal. So, this one of course, it's gonna have volume, microphone, and your indicator, which is cool. All right, let's, uh, let's power these up, shall we? So all we're gonna do is turn this one on. I guess we hold it. Hold it. 
Okay, you'll see green light. So we got signal, we got signal, we got, it's it's saying, look, see that the little green indicator? Over here, nothing, nothing, nothing. Green indicator, we got volume, we got volume. We got nothing, we got nothing, we got nothing. Volume, volume, volume. That's cool, I like that. That's handy. All right, so let's let's do let's do number one. Okay, so we're gonna take this and we're gonna unplug this. All right, and we're gonna turn this on. Click, cool. And we're gonna do standard, standard YouTube person. Pretty, because really this is the target for this, I would think, right? Really the kind of the target. Let's just get this focusing on me. All right, so my record button, we're all good. So this is now recording off of just the Canon internal mic. So nothing nothing fancy, just the internal. So if I'm turning over here and talking and you know, cause you're not always looking directly at the camera, you totally forget, cause we all do that. We bang stuff like this. And we're pointing, we're like, oh look, look. There's nothing, you get what I'm saying. So this is a audio of just the actual camera mic off of the Canon. So I'm gonna stop this right now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug this in because again, that's important. Plug that in, good to go. I'm gonna wrap this cable around so it doesn't get in the way, right? So it's in there like that. Okay, get that back there. Make sure again, it's focusing on me. And now this is all plugged in. Now I almost forgot, I need this. Because if not, it's not gonna pick up anything. So this, going right, going right there. And I like this too, because this is really designed really for, for t-shirt wearers. A lot of the lav mics, because of the way the lav mic works, really great for people that have like a button up shirt, because they kind of slide in this way. Because if not, your microphone's always pointing off to the side. With a button up shirt, it points up and down. But I, I'm a t-shirt wearer, so that's always kind of an issue. All right, so now, this is coming up when I'm talking, so that's that's excellent. We're gonna come back over here. Make sure this is on me, which it is. And we are now recording off of the new, what is it called? Moving mic, moving box. So, moving mic, moving box. That's, that's what this is recording from. And I can turn my head and talk over here, and I can kind of spin around and talk over here. That's fantastic. And then what I'm going to do, because this has a wind muff on it, you and I are going to just do a quick walk outside. So I'm going to head outside right now and do another kind of just quick test. Nothing, nothing overly fancy. Just a nice little quick test, and we'll come back in and uh, take a listen and let, let you know what we think of this. All right, let's go outside. All right, so we got the mic. It's not crazy windy, but it's definitely windy. It's windy enough that if we had a normal mic on here, that, hold on, get my, get my aperture. Why is it so bright? There we go, I think that's better. That's better, all right. So it's windy enough that a normal microphone would be having some issues, I would think. So we're gonna crank this. Is this still too dark? What do you guys think? be there all right maybe that's better but we're not really cared we're not really too concerned about image quality right now we're more concerned about the actual sound so definitely some wind not a lot but enough wind that normally this would be an issue so what do you guys think arms reach looks good what we're gonna do is one little extra test just to see I'm gonna put this on my car see if that'll stay right there Maybe, maybe. All right, and we're going back here. You guys, because it says 20 to 30 meters, feet, I can't remember. So as long as I can get this kind of distance, I think I'm pretty happy. So you guys get a good idea, I think, right? But I do like, I love that little wind muff. I think that's fantastic. All right, guys, let's go back in. I'm gonna go take a listen myself, and then what we'll do is uh, we'll talk about the microphone. All right. And I go. All right, guys, we are back in the house. Um, I've done a quick listen. Very good. You know, no complaints at all. This thing has a nice, actually, it has a fairly nice low end, especially when I was outside, I really noticed it. And again, you didn't get any of that sound that you would normally get coming from any kind of wind that's rustling up against the microphone. Again, because of this little wind muff that they have protecting their mic. Again, if you'd like to use your own lavalier mic, you're more than welcome. Because this is a little more obvious, I guess, for those that are looking at your video. 
But for me, that's not a concern. Really, it's is the sound good? That's that's all I really care about. And the sound out of this was surprisingly good. And even if you were someone that was on the camera side and you were filming somebody else, even if you didn't have a microphone or anything, you could be watching the top of this just to see if that green light is kind of flying on and off. Because if it is, we're getting audio. If we're not getting it, then we're definitely not getting audio. Because you can see here the green light kind of coming on and off because it's hearing me. Not that we're using this mic right now, but the moment that this was taken away, right? You'll see that the light doesn't, doesn't come up anymore. It has to get in range so that it's actually picking up information. There it goes right there. And now it's, now it's picking up. And, and if one of these were to die, for instance, so we take this and we, and we turn it off, right? So it's off right now. Then you'll see this light is gone. So it says, no, we, we got nothing. So that's also really good. It's got a lot of little indicators. You just need to be aware of them and make sure that you're, you're staring at them. So this comes in at, I think it's about 90, 90, $99, 90, 99, just two numbers in there. Um, US for this little setup sound quality, I thought was really good. You know, again, 2.4 gigahertz. There's no, or doesn't seem to be any kind of background buzz or anything like that, which is something you can get from really cheap 2.4 gigahertz wireless setups. I definitely have heard that in some before. So yeah, moving mic, moving box. Moving mics the company, moving box the mic. They have some other mics as well. So like little tiny shotgun mics and things like that. All kind of for those of us that are shooting a little bit more on a budget. But I think, I think these are great. The build quality seems really good. Buttons seem nice. USB-C, that's fantastic. I love the fact that they're USB-C and gives you everything to be able to connect to your camera or your smartphone outside of, and just remember this, if you are going to be plugging it into an iPhone or a smartphone that doesn't have a mic jack or a headphone jack, then you need, you need something like this, right? So some kind of adapter that gives you a headphone jack. All right, guys, I'm going to leave links down below to Moving Mike's website. Very cool. Yeah, not bad. All right, my friends. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know what you thought of the audio. Let me know what mics you may be listening to or using right now. And if you think this is a, is a good deal, leave me in the comments. All right, my friends. We're gonna we're gonna leave you there. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Moving mic. Moving box. Moving mic moving box. Yeah. Later.